I am Stephen Joel Sotloff. I'm sure you know exactly who I am by now and why I am appearing before you. And now, it is time for my message. Obama, your foreign policy of intervention in Iraq was supposed to be for the preservation of American lives and interests. So why is it that I'm having to pay the price of your interference with my life? Am I not an American citizen? You've spent billions of U.S. taxpayers' dollars, and we've lost thousands of our troops in our previous fighting against the Islamic State. So where's the American people's interests in reigniting this war? From what little I know about foreign policy, I remember a time when you could not win an election without promising to bring our troops back home from Iraq and from Afghanistan and to close down Guantanamo. Here you are now, Obama, nearing the end of your term and having achieved none of the above and deceivingly marching us, the American people, into a blazing fire. I'm back, Obama, and I'm back because of your arrogant foreign policy towards the Islamic State, because of your insistence in continuing your bombings in our Middle East and Mara and the Mosul Dam, despite our serious warnings. You, Obama, have yet again, through your actions, killed yet another American citizen. So just as your missiles continue to strike our people, our knife will continue to strike the necks of your people. I'm sending this message to you, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi al-Qurashi al-Husseini, the Caliph of the Islamic State. I am Shirley Sotloff. My son Stephen is in your hands. Stephen is a journalist who traveled to the Middle East to cover the suffering of Muslims at the hand of tyrants. Stephen is a loyal and generous son, brother, and grandson. He's an honorable man and has always tried to help the weak. We have not seen Stephen for over a year and we miss him very much. We want to see him home safe and sound and to hug him. Since Stephen's capture, I've learned a lot about Islam. I've learned that Islam teaches that no individual should be held responsible for the sins of others. Stephen has no control over the actions of the U.S. government. He's an innocent journalist. I've always learned that you, the Caliph, can grant amnesty. I ask you to please release my child. As a mother, I ask your justice to be merciful and not punish my son for matters he has no control over. I ask you to use your authority to spare his life and to follow the example set by the Prophet Muhammad who protected people of the book. I want what every mother wants, to live to see her children's children. I plead with you to grant me this.